Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.17.0.0, the update that oh, I'm gonna crash here. Alright, I did it. I did good enough. This is the update that we have been waiting for for quite a while, the one that was teased in last week's little progress report. It is the NPC update, and as you guys probably could already tell, we're here on the Liberator aircraft carrier, which explains why I haphazardly landed this Anishka sideways. I don't know how I managed to do that, to be honest, but I'd love to show you guys some of the awesome things that NPCs can offer to you guys. Now, currently, this is the only location where you can find NPCs. There will be more in the future. Well, I'm not sure about locations, but there will be more NPCs in the future. Nelson says that this is just the beginning right now. Now, in regards to this week, Nelson says that he improved and expanded upon a lot of the NPC features that were discussed last week, like adding the ability to have objects tied to quests, fixing the map's radio tower, adding the Liberator, of course, that we're standing on right now, uh, adding new objects to Russia, and then started filling it with characters and quests. Now, he says that if you do visit the Liberator, there are several interesting quests, but be warned, it feels very empty without all the dialogue complete and there being some missing characters. So this is not the finished product right here, but it definitely is a start, and I'd like to show you guys that start by heading down into the main bridge of this aircraft carrier and talking to some of the NPCs here. Right here, we have a little mechanic guy, a little cleaning guy. His name is Rusty. Hiya, Rusty. Need any help? And in this case, he's bringing us a, a, an example quest here that says, Rusty thinks the Liberator's name could use some touching up since it's starting to fade. And I'll show you guys a picture of that up on top. The pictures or the uh, Liberator's name right there is kind of falling apart. So he says next time you're in St. Petersburg, he's pretty sure the hardware store might still have a little bit of white paint. So the goal of this quest here is to find some white paint, head back to the Liberator here, paint up that little uh, logo on the wall there, and then as a reward, you will get 50 experience and plus five reputation. By the way, reputation system was added this week. Anyway, you can press accept to that. He says, awesome, fresh paint always boosts morale. And uh, we'll say, see you around. And we'll go, uh, well, actually, let's go say hello to some of the other people in here. We have uh, this chef here. Hello, I'd like to trade. I think I already, already talked to this guy earlier when I was actually testing around this stuff. So here is actually an example of this uh, of this store system here. Uh, he is only willing to buy the items on the left. And as you can see, it says zero out of one here uh, because I don't actually have any of these items. But if I can find these items for him, I can find him some canned beans and he'd be willing to pay 30 experience for those canned beans. And uh, I can choose if I'd like to buy some maple syrup or some dough from him. I already have 40,000 experience, so we're good in that regard. Pleasure doing business. Uh, when I originally asked him, I, I went up to him and I didn't have that option. I had to say, where did you get your supplies? He said that, and he says, you seem nice. Let me know if you'd like to trade a few supplies, and then that's how I unlock the option. So that's an example of how you can unlock stuff. Oh, no, Fred's not an NPC. Now, while I'm flying over there, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the reputation system. Once again, this is a system that's been slightly improved upon over the system in 2.0. It only goes down when you're killing people if, uh, if, you, if you were the aggressor in that scenario. So if you just randomly shot a person, uh, you would be determined as the aggressor and your reputation would go down. That was discussed in last week's uh, little progress report, so that's not anything new. The way that you can discover uh, or figure out your, uh, your reputation here is by pressing M. You can see that the player here has a neutral reputation right now. Uh, I'm sure once I actually go complete this quest, um, I'll be able to up that to a positive reputation. If I was playing on a server and I killed some guys, that reputation would go down, of course. And the way that you can find out is, of course, by pressing M. You'll be able to see the reputation of all the players in the server. You can also see above your character right here. That would be only, of course, your own reputation. Uh, and then also when you are looking at a player and it shows their little player card, you can also see the reputation there. Now we're approaching St. Petersburg here. Now he said that he wanted us to check out the hardware store here, so relatively basic quest, but I'm sure as we complete some more quests, we'll unlock some more advanced things. Uh, he, Nelson did say in the update post that he's working on some more advanced things like murder mysteries and stuff like that. That's going to be exciting. There's a lot of uh, potential for cool quests here. I do not know. I think that's the hardware store over there, so I just need to find a way to land the airplane in a fashion that I'll be able to actually take off afterwards. Please don't hit the tree. All right, I'll be able to take it out from there. But here's the hardware store. Now, I don't think white paint is actually in the game normally, so we'll have to see if it's in here. Is This is close enough to white paint, huh? White paint? No. White paint? No. White paint? White paint? 
white paint, white paint. Aha! So now we have white paint here. Where did it go? Oh, it must not actually go in your inventory. It must just be like a quest item so that it popped up there. So we got white paint there. Now let's go bring it back and touch up that little sign there. Now also as a minor change that I thought was pretty cool, uh, now when you are actually in a server, uh, you'll be able to see which players are in groups because they will be linked together. Their little, this black background will actually be linked uh, for players that are in a group. Uh, I'll see if I can get a picture of that uh, and add it in post-processing. But it's pretty cool. It's a it's a really cool way of figuring out immediately when you get into a server uh, which players are in groups and which ones are not. So, I mean, if you go into an arena server and you notice that there's six people teaming up, you might just want to give up at that point. Or you can try. There's nothing wrong with trying. All right. We are approaching the Liberator aircraft carrier. It is a safe zone, by the way. So when you are in here in a server, you'll be able to hang out with all your pals without having to worry about anybody just murdering you. Oh, good-ish landing. Not really. Better than last time. Not, no, not really. But here is, I think, the sign in question that is not doing so hot. So we'll jump up on top of these crates. There we go. Boom! Check that out. Looking good. Let's talk to Rusty. Ah, yeah. I finished painting. Awesome. All right. Rusty thinks yada yada. I, f I found the white paint. I touched up the liberator. Continue. And thanks for your help, I caught a peek while cleaning, and I must say, it looks much nicer now. Well, thank you, Rusty. See you around. So I got plus 50 experience. I'm not really going to be able to see that down here, because I still have a lot of experience. But in the player, I now have, I'm now a vigilante with 5 experience. Nice. It's a prisoner. Nothing to see here. Following the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's a relatively basic example of how NPCs work right now. There are still a ton of quests that can be done right now. Once again, this is just a nice little introduction to NPCs as it currently stands. There will be some more stuff added in the near future. Nelson does talk more about this in his update post, and if you guys like to check that out, as always, I will link the full update post in the description down below. Um, some random things that were added as improvements. Now, when you are killed by an explosive, whether a rocket or a grenade, it will now tell you who threw or shot that explosive. So it's no longer just saying you were blown up or whatever you can actually figure out who actually killed you in that scenario those paragon and villain achievements are now actually achievable now uh, because of the reputation system so be sure to try and get those achievements that's going to be pretty cool as well and then there were some minor fixes and tweaks if you guys would like to check those out once again in the description down below but anyway that's pretty much everything regarding the new npcs at least so far in this week's update 3.17.0.0 Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me, my big boom is out.